By now, you've probably seen all the incredible things that can be made using 3D printing. But today, I'm gonna give you the top five practical uses for 3D printing in a machine shop to help make your life easier and give you the competitive advantage. If you don't wanna miss any of the epic machining content that we post every single day, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and ring the notification bell. For number five on our list, we've got custom coolant nozzles and air nozzles. Which brings us to the Studer S33. Now in this case, we custom 3D printed a coolant nozzle for an ID grinding application. Normally what you'd get in this case is a lock line with a simple fitting that delivers coolant in one spot. But we actually designed this nozzle to conform to the shape of our ID grinding wheel and we added slots to the inside that will deliver the coolant radially along our wheel to flush out any swarf. What's nice about this is these nozzles are generally pretty small. This one printed in less than two hours and it costed less than $3. But this isn't limited to just grinding. You can print nozzles for the mill or for the lathe and you can also do air knives for assembly lines or clean rooms. The possibilities are literally endless. If you've done some projects where you think you might be able to benefit from something like this, let me know about them down in the comments. Next up at number four is rapid prototyping. When you use 3D printing for prototyping, it allows you to create a part out of a low cost plastic before you go into full blown production or machine it out of a more expensive exotic alloy. Like this part right here, for example. We were able to print this for less than $2.50, and now we can visualize it, we can check for design flaws, we can test for fit, form, and function, all before we get too far down the road where those mistakes might be more costly. A good example of this is our friend Brandon Herrera, who built the world's only AK-50. But first, he 3D printed all the parts, assembled them, checked the design for any flaws before we spent hours machining all the parts. Now what I love about our Mark II is we can print cheap prototypes like this, but we can also print strong end use parts using the carbon fiber reinforcement capabilities of this machine. Now chances are if you've been in the industry long enough, you've probably worked on some pretty complex parts and assemblies, and it would have been nice to have a cheap prototype. Well, thanks to 3D printing, now you can. Coming in at number three, we've got custom 3D printed end of arm grippers for robotics. A lot of you guys might be looking at automation to help you compete, and the design freedom that 3D printing gives you allows you to print jaws that can hold virtually any shape that you need. Now, as you can see, the jaws for this part aren't all that complex, but since it's 3D printed plastic, it's not gonna scuff or ding up the beautiful surface finish of our part, which is just another benefit of 3D printing our jaws. Now, this robot's holding a lathe part, but if you have a robot on a mill, some of those parts might be a little bit more difficult to hold. 3D printing can easily solve that problem in a cost-effective way. Now this is also used in assembly lines or on injection molding robots, and even the food industry is using soft robotics to grab some of the delicate products that they make. So if you're looking to add automation, you might also want to look at this technology to complement that and help you grab any shape that you come across. Now right next to this machine on our BVM, we've got number two, which is custom 3D printed soft jobs. This is probably one of the most valuable uses for 3D 3D printing in a machine shop. A lot of shops out there are using expensive spindle hours, programming time, and tooling to make supplementary parts like soft jaws and fixtures. In some cases, if your parts have looser tolerances or are made out of easier to machine materials, you can take advantage of 3D printing your soft jaws and it's much more cost effective because you can keep your CNC machines making those precise and expensive parts. Take for example this part right here. We've got this angled face that we want to drill a couple holes in. Well, you'd have to kind of put it in your vise and pivot it on this corner and indicate this face in. And you don't have to do that if you're doing a small volume production run. So instead, we 3D printed some soft jaws that are going to do it for us. We can put this right in the soft jaws, tighten up our vise, and hit cycle start and go. It's going to be much more efficient. Coming in at number one on our list is custom 3D printed CMM inspection fixtures. Let's check it out. So what are the benefits to 3D printing our inspection fixture? Well, for starters, the design freedom that it gives us allows us to easily create fixtures that provide access to all the features that we need to inspect. It also helps us get our part up off the table, which is gonna provide clearance for our probe to be able to reach all the features that it needs to. Our fixture is also repeatable in a way that allows us to inspect part after part in a very efficient manner. 
You'll also notice that we're using this grid plate to bolt down our fixture. That means when this part returns in the future, we can bolt our fixture down to the same spot in the grid plate, and it's gonna significantly reduce the amount of time it takes to get set up for our first article inspection. One of the big misconceptions about these fixtures is that they need to be extremely precise. But in reality, since our CMM is probing planes and datums off of our part and then inspecting features relative to that, it doesn't need to be all that precise. It just needs to hold our part extremely still throughout the inspection process. Now this is obviously one of the most important aspects of manufacturing parts. So to have this technology on hand to help you hold parts during the inspection process could be a huge benefit to you and your shop. So as you can see, there's a lot of great uses for 3D printing in a machine shop. Whether you're holding parts in a robot or in your CMM, or if you're printing custom coolant nozzles or making jaws for your mill or your lathe, the chances are this is gonna be very beneficial technology to you. If you're interested in adding 3D printing to your shop, go to titansofcnc.com, go to the Mark Forge section of the website, fill out the form, and we'll get you all the information that you need. I'm also going to be posting our CMM inspection fixture on CNC Expert. If you don't have a profile, you should go on there, set one up, showcase your work to the world, interact with other machinists, and it'll be a great tool for you. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button on the way out, and we'll catch you guys next time.